We're good. We're good. Um, uh, got destroyed by your donations aggregator. 90 days till you can process the payments, really? Uh, that's crazy, man. Wow. Um, why is that? Have you ever asked them that? Or, or like, sent an email? <clears throat> also, uh, still, what's up? How's it going? Legit, how are you doing? All right, we're going to try to do two runs today. Maybe three. Probably two. Actually, I guess at the pace that we're doing it now, it's probably possible to do three. U.S. money is sus to them. Okay, I see. So wait, is there a certain percentage then that, that is subjected to that holding period or that, that processing time, or is it just everything? Do they, do they not divide it by um, the type of currency? Oh, it's one transaction, okay. Uh, Proxos, what's up? How's it going? Oh, we got the ponytail, dude. Good luck. Must resim resist simp. Definitely resist simp. Simp's not good. Uh, Canadian mage powers to send smoke from the wildfires to Pennsylvania and cover the whole state. Uh, I did not do that. <laughs> it was not me. It was uh, it was someone else. I promise. <laughs> speaking of which, I actually just speaking of fire, I literally just walked into that fire almost. That was uh, something we have not done yet, but I'm not really willing to see what happens. Uh, Dimitri, what's up? How's it going? Is Guava Jinx in the runs? Is that why we couldn't get runs? Dude, you, you are responsible for the Invisible Ninja. I knew it was you. You probably are the Invisible Ninja. Uh, Bolt Strike, what's up, man? You're going to pretend that uh, you're not here because you always, I always get runs when you're not here. That's true, actually, but maybe it's because uh, you need to be here every single second of every stream. And then eventually I will get every single run. And the reason that I didn't get other runs is because you weren't here. So it works both ways. So you, you either can never leave or you can never come back. It's one or the other. <laughs> Uh, have I managed to make the run more consistent? Uh, we have pretty decent results now. I wouldn't say uh, it's much different, but I'm definitely playing decent as of lately. Sometimes. Sometimes. I don't know. I guess like the thing is the, the standards change every single time we improve it, so we can't really say we're holding it to the same standard, obviously. Like, what I'm doing right now is not as great as it could be in its own standard, but compared to before, it's really good, but it's not enough, so I can't say it's good, because if I did, then... I mean, like, we're not... This isn't the goal, right? So we're still not technically there. So definitely doing better overall, but that's kind of just expected. Like you're just supposed to do that. There's no other way to get it. So I need to continue the frequency of which we've improved. The improvement rate has to be pretty much... I would say like it would be making sense if we got to like a PV of one or zero pretty, you know, pretty much within the next week or so. If I kept playing good, but I mean that could easily not happen for many reasons. So we'll see. But yeah, if like if that happened relatively quickly, it would probably like be within the next week. That would follow roughly how quickly that this is a. Uh, gone so far then it'll be about two weeks in total the the uh the bigger pbs are really easy to beat that's the thing
<laughs> where's scroll crumple um i probably should put it on the bttv emotes now um the only thing is i don't have the files for it again because of the uh the hard drive situation so i'd have to get carson to send me them and he's been very busy as far as i know because like sometimes sometimes he takes months to respond <laughs> so um i don't know i mean i'm still waiting to like figure out if we're going to be able to do some more emotes but um i have no idea what he's up to i'm assuming he's like super busy um, how long do you think it'll take for the run? Like I said, if we're improving at the rate that we have been another week, but um, that's not necessarily going to happen, though. That's just the, that's like the best case scenario, so we can't really expect that. But that would make sense if, if we're following the, um, the same trend. Like, and also factoring in that when you get to, uh, like, a number this low, it's, it's nearly impossible to lower it without just getting the run or, uh, you know, spending quite a bit of time, many, many days, trying to lower it, so. But, yeah, sooner, be sooner the better for me, then we can do some other cool stuff, which will be exciting. Uh, Crowley, it's going pretty good. How are you doing, man? Uh, Reese, what's up? I haven't seen you for a little bit. How have you been? Probably you gotta you gotta uh, explain to me um, like if I get mad at this game like how to rage properly you gotta show me how to do the rage how to break things like legit rage like proper rage right <laughs> I need a lesson oh man that was scary uh, I finally got down the darkest dungeon art style oh nice dude. Do you have anything um, that you're working on with an example of that that I could see? Hello, Beagsley too. Or if you were to make one, would you would you be willing to show me? Also, uh, Slick, thank you for the 61 months, dude. Welcome back. How's it going in? Wait, are you in? Are you? No, you're not in California anymore. You moved from California, right? Can't remember where you moved to, or unless you actually did move there from somewhere else. I can't. <laughs> can't remember what it was. But how, how's things going over there, man? Best rage, you breathe deep, exit the game, and just tell the PS5 I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed in you. That sounds like a pretty serious rage, man. Well, <laughs> I don't think I've been disappointed in the PS5. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big one. That is even quicker than before. Actually, did we get an 8.30 on this yet? I don't even know if we did. That's uh, it's pretty fast, though. Like, from 13 minutes plus, that's not too bad. Been all over the place. Moved uh, to Oregon two months ago. Now you're in Texas. Uh, what, do you, what do you like the best? Out of everywhere, every state you've been in so far. I've never actually been to Texas. Um, or or actually Oregon. I want to go to Oregon though. Um, Apollo, what's up? Oh, sorry, Apollo. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Welcome. And uh, Reese, thank you for the prime sub as well. Reese, 
first time in your video. <laughs> you have discovered the secret circle. <laughs> oh man. See, the thing is, I was I had a surprise that I was planning to make something that still kept that whole thing alive, but it's just not possible because the person in question that would be able to help me with it just does not have the time to do it. And there's no one that can actually do it the way that that person can do it, so that I know of at least. Um, or that won't charge like, you know, a lot of money, so it's uh I want I wanted to do something cool with that. I'll try to bring it back at some point with like it, it won't necessarily be like an alert or anything, but I wanted to make a little thing to to remember that. Got an 836. Yeah, I think I was like a little bit quicker yesterday on that. But even even so, getting under 9 minutes on that is pretty good. Haven't had as much fun anywhere else than Texas. Okay. Interesting. Landscape is better in Oregon, though. That's what I would think, because Texas is probably not as, like, mountainous, right? Uh, Steam Souls only console? It is, yeah. Well, you can play it on PC if you have the original PS3 disc, and then you have the software to run it. Follow King. I'm not actually sure. Um, you know who would be a good person to ask that? Uh, that's doing a run in that game through that area right now. Uh, I would talk to uh, McSwoozy. He probably could show you. I've never done that before, so I have no idea. Um, I might be in the future, but I never, never had to uh, avoid the poison there. So. Also, uh, Tim, or is it Timo? Sorry. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube, man. I appreciate it. It's going to be a lot more stuff on there. Um, it's going to be kind of like in a wave because I'm trying to plan it so I can fill in the absence of the stream when I go on a trip. But, <clears throat> excuse me, there should be uh, quite a few things on there and like a quick burst coming up soon. It's also debating like if you guys would want to see anything that's a uh, variety based, like maybe older. But I think I'd rather just like do some other stuff. How long is it going to be? Uh, I think it's like five days, maybe. I don't know. I was kind of debating like not even going on it just so I could do more like of this stuff because I, I really want to. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to get done uh, with this run and other stuff that just, well, there's not going to be enough time. I can tell you that. <laughs> so I was debating not doing it, but probably would be a good thing. Uh, Kane, thanks, man. Also, Sindo, what's up? Breaks are important. They, they are, but like I kind of balance things now where I don't really feel like the need to have big breaks or anything because I'm not really going like super hard just in the stream. I'm kind of trying to spread everything out, so it's not the same as uh, before. But before, I would say, yeah, that would be super important. Uh, Oreo, how's it going, dude? Uh, whenever you take a step away from challenging for a day, some challenging for a day or two, you magically accomplish it right away. So the thing with that is um, the brain actually can't uh, create pathways neurologically to solidify certain ideas or concepts without uh, rest. So in your sleep, you're actually doing that. That's another reason why I was saying uh, if you don't actually sleep properly, you're not like retaining what you're learning properly or even creating the right structure to approach the thing. So you need to not only just take breaks, but also sleep too. That's why I said you can technically do less things and achieve more than someone else, but you have to, you, your, your learning process has to be in, when you're actually consciously um, acting on it, um, better. You still have, a, you have to have a better learning process. And you can train learning processes aside from the skill you're learning as a skill itself, but that's just a totally different concept, right? So it depends on how you understand meta learning or how you break it down. But if your meta learning is good and then you're actually getting a lot of like rest and you know, like you're having a lot of refle reflection on whatever, you probably will be 
like just as effective as someone doing uh, some crazy shit, but without having to do all that stuff. And I've, I've proven that before already, like with myself, just like the difference of like what I was doing before and then how quickly I'd improve on things versus now. It's like I can do like way less and improve probably even quicker in some cases. Like even devoid of legacy skill, even on games that have nothing to do with this or like different types of things. It's just, it's, it works for everything pretty much. As long as you can not get too emotional or too mad at it, I guess. Here is subject in school, music. Also, uh, Gillian, what's up? How's it going? I wouldn't say procrastinate. I'm just saying like you can do your stuff, but don't overdo it, you know? Like, uh, you have to be very aware of diminishing returns and immediately stop doing whatever you're doing once you hit that barrier and then continue to, again, reflect, recover, uh, do the stuff really well the next time, but always cut the diminishing returns because they're never going to help you. And then you're going to burn out quicker. Plus, you're using energy you don't even need to. Um, so unless it's like 100% necessary, there's no point. And that's why... Um, there's a lot of debates in, like, esports now saying the people that, like, train 12 hours a day don't really need to do that. They're just... they're. Four, they're throwing four hours in the gar garbage basically by doing that because they only need really eight hours and then they can take the four hours to do um, you know exercise meditation uh, you know focusing on diet spending time with family or friends whatever you know like that actual four hours extra will uh, gain them a better career and they'll actually improve more than they would playing more hours because um, it's not just raw um, input because humans aren't machines so you can't continuously keep a, a linear improvement trend so your trend has to be an analyzed right so that's what I've been trying to do for this kind of stuff and other things. So if I know I'm like, this isn't really like, you know, benefiting me too much at this point, like we just put it down. Which is really hard when you're stubborn, but yeah, it helps. <laughs> Cause I really would, I would do this for 12 hours straight. I just, I can, it's just, it makes no sense. It's not healthy either, so. Plus then I wouldn't be able to do other things that are probably more important in the, in the future, so. <laughs> Uh, I do have a Discord. Uh, Reese, drop the WIP. What is the WIP? Um, about the stuff. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm sorry that I haven't been as much in the loop with that can. I can talk to you about that. Um, probably not right after I'm done, but later tonight we can uh, we can discuss uh, like the current state of what's going on with that. But I appreciate it, man. Um, and also, I hopefully we'll be able to use the the software soon. I'm thinking um, I'll probably do it for the charity stream coming up if it works. So this coming weekend, if you're cool with that. Ah, uh, Shivix, no worries, man. That's just the game. <laughs> just, I hadn't seen that yet, so I had to uh, get my first taste of the the BS, and then we, we continue. Also, Louis, thanks for the Prime sub. I hope you enjoy your moats, man. I find it interesting that if I run away from the skelly that's already like rotated, that he doesn't follow as well as this one, because I've had that happen, but I'm not sure how to get it to happen again. I 
And I'm also creating a sound effect pretty close, so I don't know why that doesn't work. It's, it's good that it doesn't, but it's like, I don't understand. I guess, uh, cause he's just not even visually seen the character yet. Maybe it's like different, I don't know. <laughs> the tension in this area is palatable. That's an interesting way to say it. It's definitely quite a an area. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, we didn't have the ring back on. If you're playing DS2, you hate the, the gutter. Gutter is terrible. I do agree. Any pods or sites you recommend? Uh, I was just reading books for that kind of stuff, but it's also just like a, a straightforward concept that I've always understood. It's like, there's gonna be people that are better at you in, ter in certain things when it comes down to like, um, we could say like there could be an advantage biologically in a sport, for example. Um, so then what does the, you know, adversary athlete do? They have to work twice as hard as the other person. A lot of people will claim, you know, or they'll be like, oh, they got to like think outside the box. They got to do other stuff. So on something like that, like obviously there's no even playing field when it comes to, um, you know, potential biological advantages. But when there's no biological advantage in anything, it's simply just the process of the mind. Um, and then other things are like less important when it comes down to everything surrounding that. You literally can do, um, everybody can do exactly the same. It's just a matter of like how you apply uh, concepts that make sense to you and um, have a system that works for you. But it's gonna revolve around meta learning regardless if you want it to be quick. And it can be even quicker. Like this is, this is probably like extremely slow and terrible compared to like people that are actually good at it. I'm just exercising it on a minor level. It's not really like I'm you know, it's like, I'm a master of that, but uh, one day maybe I'll be better at it. I think I still get too emotional sometimes, so. But um, in the grand scheme of things though, I think that uh, it's just a straightforward concept. Um, but I think some people believe that other people just learn differently where it's like, you can learn differently, but learning quicker is not impossible because you learn differently. It's just a matter of your structure for the learning, right? So what is the, the system that you're trying to enforce on something? So for this, like we're just cutting out anything that doesn't actually help us and not doing it so we don't, we're not wasting time. Uh, Capsium, thanks for the uh, the prime sub, I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your moats. Yeah, I don't think you can be told those things. You have to actually do them. It's not something that you can like just listen to. <laughs> So I don't know if I could tell you something that'll actually, like what I just said is exactly all the information you need. You just have to make a system for yourself that is more efficient than what you're already doing, right? And what you're already doing is most likely all the time, trying things, seeing what happens, trying things, seeing what happens. You're not applying a, a pretense to it. So you have to have some sort of breakdown after you analyze what the situation is, of how you're gonna navigate it. And then you have to apply those um, elements in an order and then also keep analyzing what's happening while you're applying those elements and then changing things that need to be changed as you see fit until your system uh, benefits you more than just randomly trying things and then see what happens, right? Or the classic, I'm just gonna try until I win and if I don't win, I'm gonna just not do it. When really you're not even looking at what are the components to do well to win better or to like get to that goal quicker, you know? Or why is this person winning you know, in this amount of time, when I can, when I'm not. And the difference between that is literally just the, the thought process. It's not many other factors if it's a mental uh, thing, right? Those aren't really that complicated in a lot of cases. So I, I would say it's somewhat common sense, but it's not exercised as often as it could be. I think it's like easy to you know not really understand that in games too because in a game you're like oh i'm just gonna like relax and have a leisure experience and enjoy it and not really think about like all these things but thinking about those things can still help you though uh, might make it a little bit less fun on a first playthrough of a game maybe you don't need to do that all the time but for something like this super important right
perhaps some focused meditation after each day and ac accessing what, when, right, wrong, what can be improved. I, I wouldn't say meditation even matters. This is more of like an active process you're doing when you're doing an activity. Um, I wouldn't say meta learning happens outside of actually doing the task. It's more of just having the system you apply to the task, right? So for this, like I have checklists of things I'm constantly going through um, in my mind. And if they're not met, then I have to address like why that's a problem. And then I have to break that down. Then I have to go into that. And then once that's solved, we move on and we keep assessing where things need to be um, and uh, how to get them there. And that's just it. it just, that doesn't stop ever. It's always constant because you can't uh, really understand anything unless you do that. At least fully. And that's why even at this point, it's like I could have some bullshit happen, but I'm going to figure out exactly why that is caused in the game. That's why I'm trying to break down not only just um, surface level stuff, but we're going to go deeper than that and be like, okay, so like in the AI script, like what is making this dude back up like this many commands and then why is it conflicting? Or why can you change the properties of these types of things that are predetermined uh, or like scripted uh, events? And we look into that and sometimes you can figure out exactly, you know, not maybe you don't know why it's happening, but you can figure out how to not have it happen. Um, that creates a disadvantage for you and then you can actually use it to your advantage so it's like um, that kind of stuff it doesn't even have to be that you can actually pinpoint exactly the details because who, only the people that look at the source code could do that but you could still have a general grasp based on the variables you're being presented with because those are all obviously going to tell you something right so but if you look at them as a, uh, just something in general without really like caring about it, then you're not going to use that as a tool. So you can't benefit because you're not seeing the opportunity you have to work through the situation with what you're presented. So it's, it's just a lot of that stuff. That's why I said like a lot of people aren't really playing the same game. It's just you're that's why you can't compare this to me because I'm not playing the game you're playing. I'm like the the thought process is probably completely different. That's just the truth right and it's not a bad thing it's like that's why it's like you can't feel bad because you're not expected to think like that you should be having fun you shouldn't be doing it like this if you're just doing a first playthrough so there's really no relevance to even fairly compare that Uh, Diz, what's up, dude? Possible to get a Discord link? Uh, yeah, if you want to send me a uh, like a direct message or an inbox on here, I will send you the link right after we're done. And anyone else? Um, I'm pretty sure everybody got a link that needed one, but if there's anyone else that needs one, let me know as well right now. And just send me uh, like a whisper message. I can get you one. Sorry, the system for connecting it by yourself is so bad. I honestly have no idea why they haven't changed it. Or even why there's issues in the first place, but... You can always send the link if you need to. I just don't want to make that the primary case, because uh, there can be problems with that sometimes. And, and there's an expiry to it as well. And if you don't make an expiry, that can create problems. So. <laughs> Didn't even connect. Uh, Bambi, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? It's a Discord sub only. It is. Uh, I created it with the idea that I was making it as a benefit for the subs. So I never actually had a free Discord ever. I never really like planned on doing that. Uh, is the remaster play any different from the original? Uh, not really, no. The only thing that's different is the 8-way roll for the gameplay. Um, but the thing is, you'll notice we don't really utilize that much because I'm not locking on to stuff um, permanently and fighting it. It's, it's pretty rare. It's actually really dangerous in my opinion. Uh, Fulmi, congratulations. Did it look like Bloodborne when you were uh, killing the pig? <laughs> Was that the way your uh, your doctor did it? <laughs> That's funny. Also, Eric, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back.
Did it look like Bloodborne? That's the best question you can ask. Because if it did, that's that's pretty cool, man. You gotta gotta film it next time. <laughs> Paulo, you don't have to uh, watch this if there's spoilers for you. You haven't like played the game or anything. Uh, also, uh, yeah, it's it's. I pre-ordered the console uh, and plan to get it within like the hour it released, like like when it came out. So I was prepared. Um, I did get lucky still, but I was prepared, so I got rewarded with it. Um, some people didn't, but I'm I'm assuming that if you were camping <clears throat> websites and refreshing on the minute that it launched, you probably, at some point in the midst of all that stuff, jumping around a few different sites would have found some sort of luck in it. Um, at least some people, so... I can say I actually was super prepared for it, so it wasn't something that was completely random, and therefore I think it increased the chances of me getting it much more than a lot of other people here, but... Uh, yeah. It's, it's low supply, I guess. I think they're having issues with uh, upping the supply of it for some reasons. Probably similar to other, you know, shorter supplies of certain technology and different things. I heard the technology in it is actually, it's harder to like generate on a mass scale right now. I'm not sure exactly what that means or the specifics of it because I haven't looked into it too much. But. Make it seem like I'll be able to complete the game after watching you. I'm sure you will be able to. Well, I think anybody can complete the game. It's it's a matter of um, what is your tolerance for giving up, right? Because it'll probably test you on that a little bit. Now, uh, good luck with your internship, dude. What is uh, what is this supposed to be for? <clears throat> the the factories that make the chips required for graphics cards are massively overlooked. So Nvidia, AMD can't meet demand. I see. I wasn't sure if they actually were part of the supply for their technology in this, or if it was like a proprietary thing. Like, sourced from their technologies, but not quite depending on them to deliver, like, a full-on component. So. so... they had, like, this Jaguar chip sort of thing before that they... I don't know, I think that was, like, again, in collaboration with AMD, but... I don't know. Might be wrong about that, but yeah, anyways, um... I guess now they, they ha it has to have, like, an independent, um... GPU, CPU setup for the, for the type of power that it's doing, right? Instead of an APU.
<laughs> Next resub, you're using a subway gift card, just like the old times, man. Nice. Maybe if you do that, it'll it'll like transport you into the 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 game, and you'll become the character. And it'll create some crazy time paradox, and we'll have to save the world. Big Slick will have to try to untether the evils of the universe by himself inside the video game while we just watch. And I can't control anymore anything. <laughs> Favorite area in a FromSoft game? Uh, I think Anor Orlando is my favorite. Or um, just the first area of this game, even. It's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Jared, what's up? Thanks for the good luck, dude. Uh, booked the amount of time they thought they would need based on the demand for 20 series, but because of the pandemic, everyone and their moms have been after the game and PCs uh, and consoles, the demand is far outstripping supply. I see. That makes a lot more sense. Shio, what's up, dude? How have you been? Is this your first time seeing the game? Because um, I remember... I don't think you've actually been here when I played it before, as far as I recognize. It's been a while, though. Uh, so this is where DS3 Storm Alert came from, yes. Honestly, I feel like this, this whole concept was based on a dream. It's, like, it's so weird, man. It's like... I don't know. Only thing I can think of to make it better is if, like I said, like they inverted the environment. It's like you're in the you're in the sky, and then like it's the sky is the ocean, and then it's just upside down. That'd be super trippy. Probably wouldn't fit the game as much, but then they, then they could still be in water at least. So yeah, and then you'd kind of be flying upside down, and walking on clouds. <laughs> And then this weapon could be like some sort of like sonar frequency weapon, I don't know. Make it pretty interesting. Um, Ahoy the PB, I took damage on Penetrator split on the way to Penetrator. And then uh, in the Tower Knight fight on one of the crossbow dudes. I mean, you can ask, like, whenever I've taken mistakes uh, or, or damage on this. I just don't remember all the time, depending on which run it was, but... I believe those were the spots for the last one. Nice. That's a quick finish. Petra here was BS. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit funny. Studying, you take a take a break, then study again after. Uh, Diddy, I will see you later. Thanks for hanging out, man. Thanks for the good luck too. Trying to use that luck, I don't know. I mean, like, where do you redeem it? I can't level up luck on this and and, and get any results.
Okay, maybe enough of these for the next area too. Let's get 20. Should wish ADP. Wait, what? Like wish the ADP would work? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, wait, actually, you know what? Need the arrows too. I need a good persuasive speech topic. Any ideas? Uh, for what exactly? Maybe ask why it's 720p? I downscaled to 720p to take the stress off of the encoding for the computer, but it's actually 1080p native. So it creates this effect that uh, it's not actually true 720, it's beyond that, but it registers that on the site. Um, and it's also because the site can't actually handle 1080 properly. People can list it, but the bitrate's not enough for true 1080. They are not quite there yet. So I re-render my stuff in 1080, so it actually comes out like that after. But during this, it's not really like it's a negligible difference overall, unless you're um, unless you're trying to uh, play something maybe with not a crazy high amount of movement or anything or anything like that. I mean, it is a little bit more detailed, but also requires a setup that is beyond what my computer can do as well. On top of that, yeah, 6K bitrate's not enough for true 1080. You need like 10,000 or more. You can do low. Uh, like not non 3D objects, low motion for like 6K, and it could be kind of true, but it's not quite the same if it's like 3D objects, high motion. Ah, uh, fat, thanks, I appreciate it. Just trying to kind of share the... I know a lot of people um, have their own kind of situations or setbacks or things that might keep them from certain kinds of goals, so... Just trying to share that you can definitely do things. Or to at least, like, maybe only try to challenge yourself rather than, you know, challenge, like, pit yourself against other people, because it really doesn't matter. In that sense, it's more of just about yourself. Because uh, anything looks, uh, you know, any way you want it to when you make comparisons between any kind of, you know, two things, right? So. Medios, what's up? Uh, T Brown, that sucks, dude. I've, ha I've had things like that happen before. Um, at one point, I remember my second job, I was able to listen to music sometimes, and I forgot my headphones one day, and it was so boring, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so hard to like just get in like the zone and everything for me. <laughs> at least with the way that like the tasks were at that place, but. Um, yeah, I feel you, man. I guess depending on what you do, it's, it can sometimes help. Congrats on meeting your fitness goals, Squeal Thick. Oh, I, have, I haven't met them at all, dude. We're not even, we're not even, we're, we're only halfway there. That's the thing. That's the whole point of that thing is just getting started. It's a lifetime journey. Probably going to be like a, another 10 years before I hit my goals fully. Maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, like seven We'll see, but um, that's the the beauty of it. It'd be kind of depressing if there was no more improvement. So I mean, it's nice to um, 
you know, even even when things are a little bit harder to improve, like you can still do anything if you are wanting it bad enough. But also, even with certain circumstances, it's not like a reason to not in a lot of cases. What kind of goals do you have? Uh, well, I'm gonna I want I want to compete at one point, so I'm gonna be doing a. Uh, a physique competition, uh, like probably in a few years or so at least. Um, maybe by the end of next year I could actually be like plausible for someone that's not like the best genetics of all time. Also obviously taller is a little bit disadvantaged, but I will compete one day though. Um, and it's not going to be anything like crazy and I'm not trying to win, I just want to do it for myself just because uh, it's, a, it's a big, uh, like I guess, test for me since um, it's something that I didn't really believe in before but I always thought was cool. So. Uh, that's one aspect, and then obviously just like functional um, strength, athleticism, stuff like that. So uh, being able to perform everything that I like to do better than I did before, which is already a thing that I've experienced many times, but I want to continue to improve that even more. So um, that's just uh, the goal. But to do those kinds of things, I'm going to have to, um, you know, be very strict with, uh, you know, not taking time off and programming my stuff pretty closely and keeping an eye on how things are going. And it's going to take many, many, many more years. So, but uh, I'm ready to not, you know, give up this time because I've done these kinds of things before and, you know, fell off the wagon. So I don't want to fall off the wagon. Though. At this point, I don't have a choice to to do that. <laughs> Raka, we could maybe. I don't know. That'd be pretty funny. It's not a goal, David. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, I would say it's a goal. Have an idea of how long or time this is a new goal how long it's going to take well i mean like i said uh, realistically to get to my peak uh natural um ability it'll be roughly another like i would say i would say seven years would make sense um i mean the thing is my hormone levels will be dipping into my 30s so i'd have to like really really go hard for that reason so i might try to do um some sort of competition before that but like that that's the whole trade-off is like when you get older you uh you kind of need to do these things just to maintain like a decent level of strength and everything because you're you're just like dwindling in that department so when you're younger it's better and uh, i didn't take full advantage of that when i was uh the best age for it so I'm trying to make up for that I'm starting to be on the decline now so we're, we're not quite declining but like it's gonna it's coming up so <laughs> need to maximize everything before that point so Next few years will be super, super focused on on that, and then like after that, hopefully not you know regressing from that point, um, even with like constant attention to detail on that. But uh, yeah, old with roids, you're never old. Yeah, but then you have to take them for the rest of your life, so it's like it's not really worth it unless you're going to be already be old, and then you're like, okay, that's my decision. I think when you're younger, it's a waste because uh, a lot of people do it before they've reached their natural potential, and then. They leave a lot on the table, and then they get all the issues that come with it that they're not really ready to take. So I don't think that's worth it, especially if you're not trying to get a pro card. Like, there's no point. That's not like your aspirations, and that has nothing to do with like what I care about at all. I just would do it more for the principle. It wouldn't be for the the winning at all or getting any kind of pro card. Um, I actually don't even desire that at all. One bit. I don't think I ever will. Uh, but for the people that do, yeah, you're gonna have to take. Uh, uh, PEDs probably, or have a like a replacement therapy of some sort, at the very minimum. Uh, had to hide your Bluetooth earbuds under your hearing protectors because it was forbidden to listen to music. What? Can't listen to music. Oh, I always want to do that. Um, do you have this idea for a long time or is a new goal? Uh, like, what specifically? Uh, what do you mean? Just, like, being functionally strong and, like, somewhat athletic? Or... Or what? Steal your girl at retirement home. I do. I do want to be like a like. If I actually live, I, I don't know if I'm going to live to be elderly. But if I live to be elderly, I want to be extremely athletic as an elderly person. Like, I want to be able to do activities you can't do at certain ages. I want to be telling the medical professionals, uh, you know, against their own word, like you know what what I'm gonna do, and then prove them wrong. So that's 
That'd be cool. Not to say I'll make it there, but if I do, that's the goal. So that'll be like a, li a lifetime thing. Um, it's also really good for you. Uh, you just, I think you need to be strength training if you're elderly. It's, it's really good for your hormones and for your mood and everything. It's just, and infinite benefits. You just can't do it if you've already screwed yourself before that um, as, as, you know, vigorously. So you have to make sure you don't get to that point or, you know, ease back into it very, very gradually if you're already at a point where you might be super injury prone or whatever, you know? What is happening? Nice. 8 year old that looks like I'm 50. Well, I don't think I'm going to have like the anti-aging genetics on my side, but uh, if I could look like 10 years younger, that'd be nice. And that could be done, I think, just from, again, like the strength aspect, not even like your, your facial features as much. But I'm not sure that uh, I'll be covered in that department otherwise, which is fine. That's probably could have been helped a lot more by not making certain choices when I was younger. So that's the, everything you do kind of plays into it. I haven't had the worst. Um, I haven't sab sabotaged myself in the worst ways like that, but there's some things that probably could have helped uh, in, in, in minor, minor ways, you know. this clear stone I want clear stone <laughs> you make your man slightly uncomfortable because we work out with arms at the same weights I think that's like a a not important thing to consider actually I think it's actually cooler to lift like less like actual weight in total and have a better physique than somebody because it, it if especially if that other person thinks they're training for hypertrophy because it just shows that uh, especially if you have like similar genetics that you actually are just programming yourself better. So it's it's actually better to get more out of less, um, especially if you can do it safely. So in certain cases, um, you know, you can go to uh, a crazy extent to try to improve your strength. But like if you're just trying to go for hypertrophy, I feel like you don't really need to do anything crazy, um, especially if you can't actually maintain that um, frequently or easily uh, achieve it even in, you know, a single instance. It's a big grinder, a big struggle. It's like, probably don't need to be like doing that every single chance you have. Cause you might be, uh, you know, stressing some other things that are not gonna recover as quickly. It's like doing like one rep maxes every day. It's like, that's probably not gonna work. <laughs> Unless that's all you do, like by itself, maybe I don't know. But even then, that's that's not just not good frequency or volume. Uh, I like doing more reps with smaller weight. You don't really care about looking a certain way. You just want to get stronger. So if you want strength, you do have to progressively overload. If you're trying to get like um, I don't know other types of training, like again nucleus overload and stuff like that, um, devoid of like. You know, we're, we won't say you're pushing yourself in like a range of like the high end of what your strength is, then your schemes have to fit what the resistance level of equivalent fatigue will be. So it's a measurement of just uh, minimal joint stress, good fatigue ratio to the actual strength output with the um, amount of volume that facilitates that. I don't know if I put that in an organized enough way, but I can explain it in simple speak in a second. So like, for example, let's say you could do like, um, you know, a five by five program or even something that's testing, again, your one rep max very frequently, or you're just trying to like progressively overload your one rep max as often as you can. Uh, you could do that, but you could also do something with higher volume and still have the exact same effect. If, in, if, if the person in question actually has very, very stable control over that high strength range 
or the high end on the strength range with the lower rep schemes. If you don't, then you're probably not even actually able to do that properly and you're just forcing it and you're not even actually getting good contractions. So higher volume would actually give you better results because you're contracting better and you're not stressing the joints as much. But if you are already contracting super well and you're super experienced and stuff like that, then it doesn't matter really. Um, at the end of the day, I feel like it's just fatigue. But people commonly still try to get like um, a lot more volume in even after the, the heavier rounds, just because again, that fatigue can't be um, emphasized enough. It's super important. So you might not get enough just from doing that um, or feel it as much just from doing that. Might just be overall, you know, a bigger shock to your central nervous system and more things supporting it, but not, not quite as much destruction on a focused area as much so it's more of a balance of that equation of mitigating uh you know injury having super st stable um control but then also the most possible fatigue and volume um with enough recovery and that's just all you need to do so the actual numbers specifically in question or comparing some you your yourself to like another person's strength it, it still it doesn't really make any sense at a certain point uh all right so for armor spider we're done Gotta go back to here again, I think. Maybe not, actually. No, I don't think we do. When you do dumbbell presses, you do 15 to 25 pounds for 50 to 70 reps. So at that point, I would argue if you did that frequently enough, you're, you're, you're kind of doing cardio. That rep range is a little bit extreme, but like you said, your goals are different because you're trying to practice for like, mili like high volume military push-ups, right? So that's maybe what gets you to that goal. You're doing more of an endurance kind of thing. Um, but that's outside the rep range for the most effective hypertrophy and, and um, you know, against fatigue with uh, still being controlled. So I personally wouldn't do that just because it doesn't fit my goals, but for somebody else it could, it just really depends. Um, fool's idol. So, Try to level a little bit. Like 50 magic. No, oh, I can't even. Well. Uh, normal, it's going pretty good. How are you? Music makes you think about how, about to watch some YouTubers morning routine. This, this music, <laughs> really? This is like a really nice piece of, with the piano and everything. We are here to help you with that the, to the best of our ability, so. Fear no more. I am here to kill all of the Squidwards. So they don't get you. Because uh, you, you know what? Honestly, if you get tickled by one of those things, I feel like it's not going to be nice. It wouldn't be a normal tickle. Uh, watch my first playthrough on YouTube of this smash. What, what do you think about it? <laughs> this is like a pretty cool first playthrough just because uh, it's kind of weird. Like, I guess there's no uh, remake, like full remake I've played um, on stream that from something I've actually played the original of because Shadow I didn't play. So I that was like a first time ever seeing it, whereas or experiencing it for myself. Whereas like this is like. I can review it based on the, the other version pretty extensively. Uh, Max, what's up? How's it going, man? the other squid people it'd be cool if they had um like little squid babies as well that would kill you on this that would be actually more terrifying than them in my opinion or if like their head detached into another creature so you like kill them and then like it just pops off and then starts trying to bite your ankles Dude, 
dude, that was so scary. I was like, I was paying attention too, but I thought for whatever reason, for whatever reason, depth perception failed me there. That was close. Max, the bits saved me. Thank you. <laughs> that was all you. Let's imagine the door sliding back down and crushing the character. <laughs> That's funny. I think video games uh, became too much, much better than movies and books. Uh, no, I think they're different types of uh, experiences, so I don't really relate them to movies or books. I think it's because I don't really like games that are like movies as much. I'd rather just watch a movie. Um, it, there's some overlap where that's not true, but it's like then the game probably has pretty good gameplay. So like, I don't know, something uh, I would I would say Uncharted is very like grand and like cinematic and stuff like that. You know, I really like the gameplay in that game, though. So I would say it's a movie like game. But then there could be something that's just super, super focused on being hyper realistic, right? Um, and not really as much about the gameplay elements. Um, I don't know, maybe Death Stranding would be an example of something like that, where it's like, I think Death Stranding can make a really interesting movie, but the game, I, I wouldn't play it. I don't think it makes as much sense as a game for me. Because um, it's more of like an artistic experience. It's not really something that you like get high scores on or you can like, you know, like improve on skill wise. It's just an experience of some sort. Um, so it depends on which types of games and how we look at all the stuff. But I still, I still kind of rank them separately. And I don't know if books could even be related at all because they don't even really have any kind of component where you interact and control the uh, the narrative or see anything. It's all your imagination. So it depends on what type of book as well. But if we're saying fantasy, for example, a lot of your imagination. Uh, go back to Returnal if they added a challenge mode. I still want to play it regardless. Like, the thing is, the reason I'm not playing Returnal isn't because I don't want to play it. It's because there's things I want to do more than playing it. There's a lot of things I want to do, guys. Like, I'm not, like, the type of person that just wants to do one thing. I want to do a hundred things right now. Like, ba badly. And I don't, I don't even mean just, like, to the point of, like, oh, I'm going to do, like, try them. I mean, I'm going to destroy them. Like, I'm going to do it. It's not just going to be tried. It's going to be completed, and it's going to be completed very well. So, Returnal, unfortunately, is just not, like high up on that list but it's still something really cool so if i had no possible aspirations to do everything every, anything else for content then yeah i would do that that'd be like h pretty high up on the list too i'm just not in a struggle to look for things to to plug in for the content i have a plan for the rest of this year and next year and maybe even into the, the year after that but like it, then then that'll change based on how people receive things too so like it's not even necessarily going to be relevant stuff at that point which means i got to do it sooner than later to make room for even new stuff and there's always newer ideas coming in as I'm thinking of stuff, so it's like, um, and then people are making uh, updates for things too, or they're creating new games, or there's DLCs coming out for stuff, or whatever. So, there, it's it's uh, more of the case that I have too many things that we could do than like I'm looking for something to play. And if I was looking for something to play, then yeah, Returnal one of the first things I'd probably go for. You know, uh, Remnant. I didn't play Remnant. No, I, I was watching it. Didn't really look that crazy to me. I think a, a lot of it revolved around um, artificial difficulty from ads. And the people that played it that had similar opinions of games to me said it's not worth it unless you play with another person. And that was what made it fun to them. Except for Prod. Prod liked it. And I thought that was pretty cool because he definitely had a lot of fun.
But yeah, like basically when you're trying to inflate the difficulty by just adding smaller enemies into a boss fight, it just takes away all of the value you've put into that special thing, unless it's like needed. And it's a lot of the times it's not even needed or supplementary. It's literally just a cop out to make it harder because the game isn't like balanced as well to function with those elements or genres combined and have enemies the way they made them. So it's it, to me, it looks like more of just the easy way out to make it difficult. So. As, and there's no offense, they they perf they like furthered a formula that Unchained couldn't do properly, and then it's on its way to perfection. There's going to be someone that picks it up after that and does even better. But that's how things go when you're combining two ideas that have never really like meshed together well in the past. Um, so I think they did something really good, but there's still going to be more needed in that combination of genres to make it really functional and very rewarding. Right? So it's a hard thing to do. Doc, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? What's the the deal here? Doing fine. I am glad to hear that. <laughs> Random wild animal feedings going. Ah, uh, they they go pretty well usually. I don't. Um, don't know what the next one's gonna be. I, I want to find those uh, horses some nice apples. Just gotta make sure that they're available. Last time I tried to go and do that, there was no access to the area, so I uh, couldn't go. But that that's that's in my sights. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, how you like them apples? <laughs> over here. <laughs> it's still de-aggroed anyways. Very strange. Same one as before, wow. Ah.
Can't get this one to Diego properly. Oh, they're in such a bad spot on this one. Uh, Grifton, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Welcome, man. Everybody using their Prime today. I really appreciate that. That's crazy. What is this? A meta stream? I was about to stretch and I'm like, yo, as soon as I put the controller down, I swear the character's gonna jump off the edge. <laughs> like, that is not what we want. Man, it's crazy that only one more level is required to get the two-piece on that. Uh, Grifton finally caught one of your streams. You've been watching for one year on YouTube. Love the content. Thanks, man. That's very nice of you. I know it's difficult to actually make the effort to keep tabs on multiple, you know, like platforms if you only watch on one, for example, or to even try to catch the stream. So uh, thanks for doing that. I've heard of that, Bruns. I have heard of the, the dot, dot, dot. This will be interesting. So we don't, we don't actually get uh, the enemy like following us up there. That's interesting. Serum so can't take any damage? Yeah. No fall damage. favorite daily chat question the one that you just asked me minus the daily thing because a lot of people don't ask it like that but they say what's my favorite question that's my favorite question i think in all honesty i don't even have a favorite question i think that you guys uh, you sometimes will surprise me so Although, uh, you know what, I do miss, uh, why is Rotten X4? Like, that is that is one of the best questions of all time. That'll that'll be like a consistent meme for all of time now. Especially when we go back to DS2, oh my god. Freya times four. Yeah, Freya times four is even better.
Okay, so on this part, for whatever reason, the, uh... See, this thing didn't move to the other area. I don't know why that didn't happen. It's strange. Because, like, most of the time, I wouldn't say every time, because there's been times where it's exactly like we just had it, but more often than not lately, it's been that that other enemy is already default in the other spot. And not even moving, just, like, strictly just stopped beside the other one, so... I don't understand how it makes it there. And if it does, why it doesn't move back to. Anything you hope won't be an Elden Ring? Uh, no, nah, I don't really mind, man. I don't really think about Elden Ring, to be honest. I think that the only time I think about it is when you guys bring it up. So I haven't... Like, when people are asking me these questions about, like, things that you're wishing for, this and that, it's like, I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about that. In all honesty. Um, the only thing that would be a bonus is multiplayer, which I think they proved that's in the game. They showed it in the trailer, right? So I'm sure there'll be invasions. If there's no invasions, that's kind of annoying. But uh, another little bonus would be like a tournament. Uh, or not tournament, sorry, an arena. So they have controlled multiplayer in a quick connection-based, uh, you know, format that is, uh, you know, just kind of done like the arena in DS2. That'd be really cool. And then PvP could probably expand a bit again, but that's just my personal outlook on it. It doesn't need it, but it would help the longevity of the game. It would help them keep their player base happier for longer. and how a television director and a legendary game dev are going to end up working together to make Elden Ring? Well, they already did. It's already made, man. Well, I guess mostly. We, we, so we think. Unless they, uh, they're like, hey, uh, so we're going to delay the game. We've never done that before, but we're going to delay it. Then I'll be like, yo, that's fine. <laughs> Everybody else will be like, Elden Ring's the delay. Oh my God, my life's over. What are you going to do, streamer? I'll just be smiling, fi finishing everything I wanted to get done and not even caring. <laughs> then still enjoying it when it comes out. It's my my take on that. <laughs> if that happens. Has this run been done by somebody else? Uh young Maddie uh and Kazoodle. As the little ledge where you could run past all this been patched? Uh, I don't know. Never never seen that as far as I know. For as far as I can remember. If you send me a clip of the original version of it, I can I can try to look into it. I just You're you're saying you can skip everything in this entire area and just go to the boss. Is what you, is what you mean.
just like the power of glitch compels you. Oh man. So these aren't even really as punishable. What was that? Like, I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> Does anybody? <laughs> Get me the hell out of that. That was weird. <laughs> uh, this is the end game? No, this isn't the end game. This is mid game. End game is like the last couple segments, maybe. Or last last handful, I would say. Maybe last four. Like Leechmonger. I would even say False King you can consider because that's like the last hard thing. What are the Solar Mains? Five? We have enough. Nice. likes those counters. Get some magic skips here too. Hey, Lucarva, how are you doing? Has Mad Monk reached out to you? Who's Mad Monk? What is that? Flame worker. Okay, so we don't need remains for that. We need the cat ring first, then we'll do everything else. finished yes here we go caffeine caffeine supplement for gamers wait what wait let me go back mad monk is the name of the supplement that's an interesting supplement name uh i don't i well i mean g fuel already like wants me to do stuff with them i don't i don't really uh support them after like trying what they um have made and looking at the ingredients as well so <laughs> wouldn't say i can uh, condone that don't think I would ever really back any kind of supplement, to be honest, unless it was like not related to 
to energy, maybe? I don't know. I think that uh, sometimes you could just benefit and save a lot more money. If, like, if you want caffeine, just buy caffeine pills. If you don't like drinking coffee and you want energy, they're cheaper and just, like, save some money, man. You don't need anything else. If you genuinely want energy, you know, I mean, I personally like coffee, but I try to, like, not have as much caffeine now anyway, so that's, like, minimal. But if you really wanted to be the smartest, you would probably just get caffeine pills if you don't like coffee. Uh, Why well, back your apple juice supplement? I'm not even a huge fan of apple juice. Maybe if it was like actual apples. Are these falls super precise? Uh, you don't really time them. They're just you just have to direct the character, right? Wouldn't say there's like any timing on that. Um, but it's not that bad. No, there is one part where it pushes you, so you have to be kind of careful with how you step off the ledge, or you'll be pushed over it, even though it looks like you can land on it. Thank you, Flame Lurker. I appreciate you not killing. Thanks. Is that the real default? Looks like it. I didn't. I tried to follow up the attack there. It didn't work though. It was weird. Can Diagro them? You can. Uh, you could in the original, too. This is just a better one, in my opinion. Well, not even better, just a little bit less technical compared... Well, actually, no, it's more technical. It's um, less... It's, it's guaranteed as long as you're good, basically. The other one wasn't guaranteed, in my opinion. This actually works if you play well. It's probably the best way to put it. Uh, I did see the documentary many, yeah. It's really good. It's not a true Diego there. Protection beats. Protection bits, Max. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I need those. I'll take it. 
It's a good de-aggro. Sorry, phase two as well, right? One more. Uh, Blaze, thanks for the good luck, dude. I appreciate it. Sub to me so Bezos can go to the moon. Oh, man, that, that was so funny. Like, the petition to make him not come back or whatever. <laughs> like, as if that actually would even work. Even if it was, like, ten times the amount of people that signed it. Like... <laughs> Just bought my first laptop, the college first order of business hop on Squealer's stream. Uh, Artie, that's awesome, dude. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy it. Can you play games on it, or is it just like more for doing the, the work? Never actually had a laptop that was good before. I had a an e-machines one and i remember uh at the time i let my girlfriend borrow it to do homework and she like rage quit it she like was like this is the shittiest computer ever it stopped working on microsoft word and that wouldn't turn on anymore it's pretty funny <laughs> why's my cam on today uh well it's only for tier three subs so <laughs> it's only one pixel also but oh man Demon Souls is my least favorite out of the games that they made, yeah. Out of the ones I played. Don't think you see me on cam where these motes come from. The ones of me that are from the stream, uh, that are motes, would be from like 2015 or something like that, 2016. I think that's when I, 2016 is when I stopped using it, so. It's for like the first uh, year and a half, maybe. Do I mainly update the boss you're on, or does the counter do that automatically? Uh, I have to type the hotkeys for it. Uh, Zegra, everything for the future is all surprise, so you can guess whatever you want, if that's what you think I'm going to do, but I'm not going to be telling you guys anything. Unless uh, it's like, a, for example, the charity stream we're doing this coming weekend. I can mention that we're doing it, but even the specifics of that is a surprise. I want to keep it cool, like or a, as like kind of like something that's cool, and see what it, it, how it's received on the, you know, the day that we do it, not rather than it being like, oh, I'm gonna tell you all the details. I think it's more fun that way. But if it's something I need to debrief you on, so you can understand ahead of time, because you need to know this information, then I will. It's just if it's not necessary, then I'm not gonna be uh, mentioning anything. I'll be surprised. No, it was never really great. Well, I don't say yes or no to anything. It's just a matter. Unless, like, I literally, it's like an idea that I've never considered before. Or whatever. If it's something that uh, just wouldn't make much sense or isn't even possible, then I would say probably, like, straight up no. That's or if, I, if I feel like your question is, like, a meme, that's more likely. That was, like, a serious question. So, I mean, there's no reason to say yes or no. Uh, was the imposter in Elden Ring vented in Demon's Souls? Wait, what? You call me patches. What's going on? That will become a hot tub streamer. I will do a hot sub stream if we have if we reach fifty thousand concurrent tier one subs for one month straight. No joke, I will literally go buy a hot tub and do it because that's impossible. So like, there's at that point, I mean, I could buy ten hot tubs. It's not a big deal. Probably more than that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, if that happens, sure. But just because of how ridiculous that is, only only simply because of that. I saw Lobos did one. It was pretty funny. Um, 
Looks like he was having a hard time staying staying still. <laughs> Uh, Ushi, what's up? Can't handle it, I'm sorry. Lobos did the whole right subs on his arm shit. Yeah, that was pretty funny. He was, he was, wasn't he on like a unicorn floaty or something? Or like a horse? Or some sort of pony or something. They look, they look pretty funny. Uh, okay, Dragon God. Tower Knight. Now we get the materials. Uh, Rogar, I don't know. The future is unknown. Mysterious and churning always, but never at the same time. Okay, what is this? 200 and... Wait, 158? That's all we got. That's weak. Definitely need more of those. Where am I on the run at the moment? Uh, we're, we're approaching the late game. Getting pretty close. I need some levels first. Tommy, what's up? How's it going? Don't tell me you'd hop... Wouldn't hop in the tub with Amaranth? Not after the, you know, she crinkled some bottles on main page. Like, that was the first time I saw her stream and it, like, rubbed me the wrong way, I'll be honest. Probably not after that. And that was involuntary. I couldn't actually, like, not listen to that because it loaded by default when I turned on the website, so. I was not happy with that. So, wait, 50. Me and Matthew Shazman. I would probably, yeah, that'd be, that'd be more... On brand, right? <laughs> He'll animate like his next thing while he's in the tub. All right, so fifty-four. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, Cord, I appreciate that. That's that's cool, man. New new genre, new 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 niche right here. Even within its own niche, there you go. Or, or for your, your the people that are not satisfied with pronunciation niche, I just don't like saying it that way. But you can say it that way. Once hot tub stream shipix, fifty thousand concurrent tier one subs with for one month held without it dipping below the fifty k once, and you got it. I will even document the process of buying the hot tub. Because at that point, who the hell wouldn't do that? We're just getting, we're just making ridiculous bets now. So it's like, if it's impossible to even like see them being a thing, then why not we'll just just up the ante, dude? Like, who cares? <laughs> what I changed in this game to make it not on the bottom, just the overall gameplay. Uh, I'd make the mechanics a little bit more sophisticated, and then I'd increase the difficulty of the design of everything accordingly to uh, facilitate the better mechanics. Visuals would stay the same, though. All, all the visuals are good. Every single storytelling aspect is fine. It's mainly just the way, that, way it plays. That guy still live. That's really bad. That's worse than bad. It's like, glad bad. I don't even know what that even means. Uh, you're about to spend 250000 on a hot tub for stream. Nice. I didn't think it was only it was gonna be this quick. Wow, you guys. Well, one person pulled it together. Nice. <laughs> power wash and hot tub stream. I have to power wash and hot tub at the same time. What?
Dude, imagine you could like try to calculate the drop on the arrow to get the dude over here too. That wasn't uh by you. That'd be amazing. Or even just a, like a firebomb th free throw. Do the hot tub thing for the love of stream. I don't want to do the hot tub thing. That's the whole point. So if I don't want to do it, might as well make it at a ridiculous wager, right? That's my thought process. And then it just kind of like reinforces how silly the idea is. So if it actually worked, then it would be like, that's how badly people want to see that, which is kind of sad. So it kind of furthers the narrative there. I hate when my soul leaks into my Achilles tendon. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> That's funny, man. Because uh, the situation that happened on the dogs last time, I think I'm just going to like try to get them to chase me, then Diagro. Shoot them from the default spot. I'm try to run over here. They just escape sometimes. How's that? I don't know where the other one is. Oh, it's over there. Like we just gotta do that that way. There's no option. I can't. I cannot afford a hit on that. Uh, do I have a cat, Zegra? I had two, but they both passed away. Um, probably won't get another one for a while, if I even do. Um, in, ter in terms of any animals, I'm not really ready for any. Cats are based. I like uh, I like cats. I also like dogs too, though. I think um, dogs are a little bit more interesting. Cats are a little bit more chill. They both come at their own with their own uh, you know things you got to consider. Though I think dogs are a lot more to take care of, so it could be a little bit more rewarding or interactive in some cases. But you really got to make sure you train them well, and that's that's the the part where it's like I don't really like feel like the capacity to train them extremely well right now is it's a, is a fit for me, especially because I'm gonna not be necessarily in the same spot for a while either. So I'd rather just be in more of a permanent place, knowing, uh, you know, like having a very good grasp on the next uh, bit of time ahead and just kind of planning for it. So I wouldn't say it's a good time for me right now to do that, but I could definitely have a cat. I just don't really desire one after the experiences I've had with them.
What kind of cats were they? Uh, no, they were... They were healthy cats. Well, originally, then they became unhealthy, but... Capybaras are the elite animal squill lord. Uh, Bruns, thank you very much for the, the pits, dude. Amount of pets my grandmother has seen pass away makes you sad. Well, it's the thing you gotta... It's your responsibility to understand that when you buy them, right? So, can't be surprised. It's unfortunate, but it's it's your choice, so you're the one that's creating that situation in a way. Or allowing it to happen. Prince is a punk. Uh, El Nombre, thank you very much as well. Yeah, he definitely can be sometimes. Did a caterpillar? There, you know what? Honestly, I've seen some pretty scary ones lately. There was one thing I forgot to show you guys. I saw a flying caterpillar. You ever seen a flying caterpillar? I've seen a flying caterpillar. Hey, it's been a few weeks. Finally, found time to catch another one. How have you been? Ah, uh, Trudu, thank you so much for the 14 months. Welcome back. How's it going? I feel like some of the contrast of the enemies here is like kind of confusing because they made those dudes look like the plants. So it's like really hard to <laughs> distinguish what's going on there for me. Those dudes with the spears are so scary. <laughs> it's absolutely terrifying. Thank you very much for the Prime sub, I appreciate it. Welcome, how are you doing?
Uh, Club the False King always is the biggest problem because you can glitch um, in a way like where you can't really do anything. So that's the hardest. Uh, thanks for the GGs, by the way, guys. Arbanek, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? dangerous. Okay. As long as they're not just like invisible for whatever reason. <laughs> now that would be hilarious. I would be laughing. Not exactly sure where the thief stands in this situation overall, but we have a free escape if we just get the right situation here. Like a nice one, so. I think he's over in the corner. So you just have to try to run, that's it. Which is actually a little better than killing him, because in this situation it's a little bit sketchy. So that works. Shouldn't the ninja guy get baited? He does, yeah, it's just like. He, his, um, he doesn't, he, he might not have, like, a pathing that allows him to, like, find you at a same, the same distance as the other guy does, because he's kind of higher up when he's, when he's defaulting, so he might not have the freedom to travel over there as often. Or he might have got stuck, I don't know, one of the two. I've never seen him go outside of that thing. You probably could get him to chase you out of it, but, like, just to throw the solar mains, I'm not sure if he would, like, aggro during that in the same way. Nice try, fat official. Get roasted. Time to throw. <laughs> Why do you often throw several of the things? Do several do more than one? Well, it's just because they don't work sometimes. It's just to make sure they work. You need, like, at least two to make sure they work. Minimum, sometimes three. Uh, one is fine if you can visually, like, indicate that it works. And you don't have time to throw a second one, but if you can't actually see if it worked right away, if you can't verify it, depending on the situation, you have to throw more. Because you could be walking into death right there. So you can't trust it. If I tried to kill the dragon, I've killed the dragons before many times, yeah. Not in um, this playthrough, but uh, in other things we've done. Or that I've done, sorry. Maybe not on stream. You can use the bow. I think that's the only way. Or maybe magic. Unless uh, it's in a different location. I'm not sure if you can melee the blue one. And the red one's the bow as well, or magic. It's upgraded from a gaming laptop to a gaming PC. Abnormal. Was your gaming laptop super expensive? I was going to say, did you end up saving any money? Like, versus the cost of the gaming laptop? Because I know they're typically expensive. Oh, 
Uh, when did I decide to start streaming? Uh, August 2014 is when I first tried. Uh, can you borrow PS5 when you're finished? No. <laughs> you are not allowed, oh Sam. No, you can, you can, you can. Just you gotta make it over here. So, and uh, just give me like a thousand dollar deposit, and we are good. The good old one, too. How did you defeat my, How did you defeat my cheat codes? That's basically what he says. 
I am a cheater. Conzerath, thanks for the uh, prime sub. I didn't want to go back here. Imagine he'd like respawn or something. That'd be amazing. Conzerath, thanks for the, the prime sub. I hope you enjoy your motes. Thanks for using it here. Uh, what are the soul remains like? 14, that's not enough. I need more arrows too. The only reason he had the laptop was that bat, uh, he went back and forth it's from your mom's your dad's. If this isn't the run you see him anymore. Never know my mistake. It's quill smug. Oh, I'm screwing up here. I'm gonna refresh this really quick. Can play Apex without making your fingers hurt, is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's easier to like play on an actual keyboard. Uh Inky, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. Alright, um, 14. Oh. Hmm. Probably get like 20 more, just in case. And we need a lot of these. Uh, Bangan, thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Still only get 33 more arrows to 325. That's gonna have to do it. Better to overstock? Yeah, for sure. I just don't have enough like ability to carry more stuff <laughs> without getting rid of other things. Actually, do better with certain kinds of music? Yes. Uh, it's based on just uh, how ambient it is. So um, just melody devoid of percussion is pretty good for that, and no vocals usually. But little bits of like all those things are fine if you combine them the right way. There's still obviously some music that's nice in the background that's has all that stuff. Just most of this is going to be more melody centralized. Maybe like this, obviously like a little bit of rhythm, but just nothing like that's too intrusive. Uh, we uh. Made an oopsie on this one. We're supposed to get the 2800 for the two items for Leechmonger, so now I have to farm this guy. <laughs> You'll drink water if I drink water. Get drinking, man. Will the music change for different games? Nope, just the general thing. It's just my brain. Dude, the one of the dudes fell down. What? I've never seen that before. That's that's weird. I didn't know they could fall. That was really fun. Oh, he's getting protected now by them. Grim Reaper, don't leave us. We need you. Thank you. Uh, that'll be enough. Nice. Your brain playing the music easy. <laughs> Do the fire and flames for nameless is is good. You recommend that? Already got a distance PB. A distance PB is this, yeah. Do you have enough arrows? Oh, I have enough arrows. Yeah, should be fine. Can buy some extra ones from this guy just in case, like some regular ones, but should be good. Officials gloves, that's not good. You'll often play RuneScape with classical or electronic music, works very well, improving your performance. Yeah, there's certain music that can definitely help, for sure. At least, I mean, it depends on who you are, I guess, but I'd still argue there could be some level of distraction, objectively, that's greater from certain elements. Depending on the type of thinking you're doing.
You know what? Uh, it'd be actually smarter to make these guys fall in this hole right here. Overall. Obviously this guy on the side here doesn't matter if he's still stuck, but... That is smarter though. a lot of copybar rejects. I do what I can. Sometimes I can't control the killing of copybar rejects. I apologize. Um, how many viewers did I have when I started? Uh, zero. I think I got to an average of one within a month or something like that. And then five within half a year. Or, but the, well, I mean, give or take, like, factoring in frequency. So, I mean, when I actually had a part-time schedule, it was about five. And then got up to 20 within the first quarter of the year, I think. 30, maybe. Something like that. But yeah, when I started, it was more of trial and error. It wasn't actually like a legit stream. It was just testing things, crashing over and over again. So I wouldn't really watch it myself, even if I, <laughs> I was wanting to watch something now, I probably wouldn't watch it. Soul remains here. Only have one left. Oh, I have nine. Sorry, never mind. I thought, <laughs> for whatever reason, I thought the number would show on the thing without it being highlighted. That doesn't make any sense, really. So it's a good idea. See people from back then. Uh, yep, one of my moderators is still from back then, is still here sometimes. And then there's a couple other people that come around once in a while. Uh, from the very beginning, though, it's only like one or two people. From like the first year, I would say. Maybe a, a couple dozen or something like that. I 
But I mean, that's like me seeing them. So I mean, they could easily be here and I, don't, I just don't know. It's just in chat, right? Which doesn't mean much, so I can't really say. Uh, Lyra, no, I don't really get nervous on these kinds of runs. I don't think it's worth it. Is Twitch my full-time job? Uh, it's part-time right now. It used to be full-time, but now I do other stuff. So I can't really uh, put all my energy into this, but uh, it's part-time hours for me right now. It's not a full-time thing, but I mean, I can live off of like any single thing I'm doing in general, except for a couple things I could live off just by itself. I just do a lot of different things for revenue just because I feel like it's important to diversify your revenue when you can, especially something I've learned from doing this kind of stuff. It's more, more things that you have going on, the better, especially if they're passive too. So. Yeah, I could could do it full time. Uh, right now, I just don't need to anymore. And I don't think it's the smartest thing for my health either. And full time to me just means like over 40 hours or whatever, 44 hours. Not necessarily like the level of effort you put into it, just the hours, right? So we're always going to be under that, I think now. But we're going to do better though, with less time. Okay. Take off. So that's what I started with. I used, uh, or sorry, a lot of it used to be um, PvP related. That's how I made the channel. So we actually, we've gone through quite a bit of transitions and pivots that have set us back as well. So obviously it's been a learning experience. I think I used to regret that, but I think it's like the best possible thing to have that experience. passive income it means you uh don't have to put in action but you make money um, off of things you've done in the past that set you up for more money kind of so it's like either your money makes more money itself without you doing anything or you have uh things that generate income without actually having to put time into them um because of the again the way you set it up mosquitoes. Just rob a bank, pussy. <laughs> what a great lesson for our youth. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. You should be a PSA. That was actually really funny, though. <laughs> Probably not the best idea. Do 
dude, the character model looks like the, the actual area, dude. That's ridiculous. That's a really uh, camouflage, dude. Just realized. No! <gasps> Yo, I saved it, guys. I saved it. I have to Archstone Shard, though. We gotta do that again. I think. Wait, let's think this through first. Is there a way from this spot, realistically, that we could continue? I'm gonna put the Archstone Shard on as soon as we drop. If it doesn't work, we will use it. But wait, before we even go to the length of that... We, I don't know if we'll be trapped if we go under here. Play it safe. Well, I mean, like, I want to know because I don't think I'm actually in uh, like risk like in this spot. We're not trapped, are we? It looks kind of like it. Because like, even if I fell here, I wouldn't take damage. It's not going to be fall damage because I have cat ring. It's just more of like, I'd have to watch. I don't think the poison I'd be able to outdo. That's a lot of stuff to redo, though, unfortunately. So we'd have to have to get more arrows do a flip just go back mm. what is this area even supposed to be here because I know that that's like the border you'd have to go around a safe scum All right, that sucks. Slow run. Get a coin there. In on that like ledge that we were on. Kind of seemed like it wasn't even like an important place to be. I don't know. Safe run is a good one. Yeah, no, it's still good. It's just like, I was wondering it, like, cause I, it would be a shame to like lose going back through that stuff again, because I did it twice rather than just figure out a way to get to the end from there. But I, it wouldn't be possible that it was, it was blocked off. Wouldn't be able to do anything about that. Uh, yeah, not really a lot for the arrows. Skulls. I have I have six still. We only use uh like a small amount in that area. I don't even need to use any to be honest. Well actually sorry. Need to use one, I believe. Actually no, sorry, two. Two in total minimum, but uh, more than that helps. As per usual. So lucky to not take damage. Well, I felt I didn't fall far enough to take it. I think if I even fell all the way to the bottom, I still wouldn't die. Like it wasn't enough height to die from. So I think I'd be fine. It would just be the poison that I'd be worried about because I have to switch back to the ring super quickly or Archstone Shard immediately. I was more worried about just getting trapped and then trying to, like, fumbling on trying to fix the situation. Uh, Penetrator segment and uh, Tower Knight fight for the mistakes box vendor. Feel bad killing Maiden? No. I don't feel bad killing anybody in this game. I enjoy it. All right. So these, we're not gonna waste skulls on these guys. Waste the arrows instead. Or not. <laughs> Just gonna escape. What is this? Lotus, okay. Whoa, what was all those uh, things that died there? Both Sif and Artorias? No, I don't feel bad about that. I don't feel bad about anything in any of the games. I've never been like that. 
I mean, Sif tries to kill you. I don't understand how that's not really like, oh my God, we just killed the dog. It's like, it attacked you first. It's the size of a building and it has a weapon in its mouth and it's it's trying to kill you immediately. And it's way more capable than kill, of killing you than you are killing it on the first encounter. So I don't, I don't see how that's like cute or unfair or anything. <laughs> like you gotta survive it. I mean Sif is kinda scary. These things are definitely randomized. Like there's this is like really easy this time. What gives? Even this part too, that's weird. And even, dude, even the last part, what is happening? I'm gonna have to wait a second though, just because of the the poison. I'll go for it. This last part's nice too. Okay, no foggy this time, that tripped me out a little bit. Those enemies like actually gone? What's going on here? What even? Can someone clarify that? They die, like they're actually like permanently dead somehow? Like they're not there. They might all be in the, the, like, the whole thing, but like why would, I don't understand why they wouldn't be here. If I throw a skull, then this is gonna, it's gonna make all of them come out of here, which is not worth it, so. I don't think they're invisible either, I could just shoot and see. Yeah, there's just nothing there, dude. Um, are those the ones that died in the beginning? Oh, maybe, somehow, maybe, you're right, actually, it could have been, but that's like super strange if that's the case, like why would that happen then? Like what would make that happen? I don't get it. There's just, there's no safe way to throw the skull. Like, unless I could get all these guys to walk off, maybe, and fall down. I just don't know. Also, uh... Pooh, what's up? How's it going? I mean, we could go for this. I just don't understand why the enemies wouldn't... Like, this one's walking back into here, blocking these guys, and then... Like, there genuinely is nothing there, so, I mean, fuck it, let's go. Don't know how that worked, but something happened. Not a fan that they actually are chasing me here. <laughs> Don't know really why through the thing. It's very strange. Whoa. Sketchy, dude. Sketchier than sketch. It's just too sketch. 
Too sketch. Too sketch, too furious. I don't know. RNG on this. Let's hope that doesn't change. It's kind of weird that his uh, AoE doesn't break the barrier. It's just like, whatever. Oh, it's still the aggro. What a legend. Everything's working the way it should have the whole time. It's beautiful. Sturdy gloss is nice. All right, guys, I think that's it. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I've never seen a fight like that on that dude. That was ridiculously good. I don't understand. Whew. All right, now the, as Milty Milt will say, I'm gonna go back on a historical moment. And I'm going to play a sound clip here and get copywritten for my own video. I need, we need Milty Milt to, to say this because Milty Milt is like the godfather of Demon Souls, so. We can't finish the run without his words in the video. Let me locate it. It that he said it. Come on. So easy. Okay, it's right here. He gave me the AOE. Now the real Demon Souls starts. Now the real Demon Souls starts. Multi right Melt. EST 2000. I'm assuming 17. I think. I don't know. Something like that. Cool guy. Check his stuff out. He's amazing. I don't think a lot of this would have been uh, as simple to figure out for a lot of people without a lot of stuff he did so uh Erky, thanks for the uh, the bits i appreciate it it's not over yet though but yeah this is the real game now <laughs> all memes included Still don't feel bad for killing any of these guys. <laughs> for the record. Is this the run Siegfried? I mean, honestly, it kind of is. I'll be honest. There's a couple things that can still happen, though, that'd be really funny, so stay tuned for that, just in case. But it's very unlikely. Don't fuck up a lot. Yeah, pretty much. Or don't fall into the hole before you talk to the maiden or that will kill you. Which is kind of weird. I feel like it should just take you to the same place. Uh, Siegfried, yeah, it'll, it'll be on there once uh, everything processes and everything. Gonna have to probably re-render it to get it nice and crispy. Don't forget to get hit on True King to show your dominance real smug. True, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, we gotta do the full run and then just like throw at the end. That's true. Bronze, thanks for the uh, the bits, dude. I appreciate it. Well, 
Well, I will say if this goes through, this will be the quickest anybody's ever done a run like this on this game that I've witnessed. So, and this is the hardest for me. So, we applied the the themes and made them work. So that's so I'm saying, man, meta learning. Did like a quarter of the effort I usually would in terms of like time and four times faster results than doing eight to ten hour streams. And it's not even like a lucky one, it's actually a consistent low amount of mistakes every time now. Like we got th three twos in a row. Or oh yes, Quill at JG. Always running at a pace of like two or less roughly, so. Like significantly under sub five constantly is pretty good for this regardless. Cause I've seen, even Milty took like more than five on some runs when he was still ready to get zero, so. So, it's good. And apparently this is the harder version, so. Almost want to go back to the other one and see if we can do it on that too, just for fun. Uh, Crimson, thank you so much for the bits, man. Speedrun leaderboard for the challenge? There is. Just go to speedrun.com. Will I be doing after this? It's a surprise. Just because I'm done something doesn't mean I'm telling you what we're doing next. You'll see. Skate any percent. You really want to watch me play skate again, don't you? <laughs> That's funny. Demon was vanquished. No arch Don't forget sure. to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Pike Chomp. <laughs> Foamy, thanks for the dollar, man. <laughs> Your YouTube channel, Pack Chomp. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so this is where we can still fall into this hole right here that we're spawning right behind. So you have to walk carefully around this. Okay, now we can't die to anything other than a lot. Okay. Interesting vibes for the music. If you breathe, the blob will kill the run. <laughs> it's unlikely. I just want to let him like almost touch the character just to like rub it in a little bit. GG. <sighs> that was really cool, man. Oh man, that's it. Zero damage. Not in the quickest time ever. Obviously, we can run faster paces than this, but it, it all contributed. It's all it's all helpful. Remove the sword. Great job. And then literally get murked on the comments for killing the maiden in black with the soul brand even though it doesn't do any damage. Oh. FG, dude. Damon, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Stop, crush, kill. Ah, boots. Uh, that's really cool that I had the boots on. I guess barefoot wouldn't have been as cool. The old one Alex, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. You defeated. And before long, the world will be engulfed by the deep fog. There's only one thing we can do after this, guys, to celebrate. There literally is. It, it, and it's like the most proper thing you can possibly do. Let me find it. GG.
Now, I'm not sure if this is going to get me a copyright or anything, so I'm going to wait till we go to the final time of the run and just quit out of this. Also, just a plug, if you like this run, hit the notification bell to not miss any updates and like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. It's 233. That's not too bad. I think, well, I mean, considering we got like a 205, that's wild, but pretty good.